Hey everyone, Haskaha here. I have another video game screenshot technique that I wanted to talk about called burst mode or continuous shooting that allows me to capture split second screenshots like explosions more easily. Keep watching for the how and why. Most of my screenshot tips are centered around Star Citizen because that's what I've been spending the most time in, but this is more of a universal tip that should work for any PC game or application. And in retrospect, this is a very simple technique that I have no doubt others already use. But first, some background. Continuous shooting, sometimes called burst mode, is a shooting mode that exists in film and digital cameras that allows the photographer to capture several photographs in rapid succession in a short amount of time. This technique is mainly used when the subject is moving quickly or performing an action that only lasts a split second. A prime example is sports photography. Rather than trying to time the perfect shot and capturing the action at a precise moment, the photographer can use continuous shooting to take a batch of pictures quickly around the time of an action, like hitting a baseball. Most continuous shooting modes allow you to capture several pictures per second, called the burst rate or frames per second, giving you a better chance of snagging that perfect action moment. So a while back I got the idea for capturing a few Star Citizen screenshots that would have been a nightmare to time perfectly. I wanted to capture a ship exploding, or a missile being launched, or a handgun being fired, all of which require split-second timing, something I thought would be way too difficult to pull off. Then I remembered continuous mode shooting on my film and DSLR cameras and thought, why not make that work for screenshots? So that's what I did using a macro. And for those who might not know the term, a macro is basically a single command that contains a group of actions or commands within it. That single macro command can then be bound to one key, allowing that single key to trigger a bunch of scripted actions. Now, you can probably use your favorite macro program to set this up like AutoHotKey or whatever else you might have running already, but since I already have voice attack running and it allows me to trigger macros with voice commands, I used voice attack to set up my burst mode macro. I won't be explaining the ins and outs of voice attack, but if you own the program you should be able to work through this. Basically, I have a macro and voice attack that takes a screenshot, waits a set amount of time, and then repeats the two command macro a set number of times. And here's how I set that up in voice attack. First, open voice attack and click on the button to edit profile. At the top right of the profile editor window, click the new command button which will bring up the add a command dialog box. If you want to trigger this command with your voice, type in the voice command in the when I say field. I'm going to call mine screenshot burst 10, which I'll explain later. If you'd rather trigger this with a keyboard shortcut or other button press, use those options. Next in the command list box, click key press. With the Add Key Press dialog box up, press the key or keys that trigger your preferred screenshot method. I use MSI Afterburner and have the screenshot function bound to Control and left square bracket, so that's what I'll press now. The dialog box should record your key or key combination. Make sure the Press and Release Keys option is selected and the hold down for blank seconds is something fast like one hundredth of a second. This simply tells Voice Attack how long to hold your screenshot key press down before releasing it. Then click OK to save the command. Next, again in the command list box, click the pause button to add a pause to the macro. This will take some experimenting on your part as there are several factors at play, the biggest being how quickly your computer can actually register a screenshot command and save it to the hard drive. After many trials, I found that setting the pause to three hundredths of a second worked best on my system. Any shorter and I was missing screenshots, and I wanted this pause as short as possible so that I was capturing as many frames as possible. Click OK to save the pause, and that's it for the commands list. You're welcome to add a description, category, or fiddle with any of the additional command options. Under repeating, select this command repeats blank times and put 10 in the field. This will allow you to trigger the macro once, which will then repeat its two commands 10 times, leaving you with 10 screenshots roughly three hundredths of a second apart from each other. Click OK on the Add a Command dialog box to save the command to the profile. After using this macro for a while, I realized I needed a kill command to stop the burst. Sometimes I'd trigger the burst too soon or too late or completely mess up the shot. And instead of letting the computer churn through the process of saving all those shots, I needed a way to stop the command. So again, in voice attack inside your profile, click the new command button. And again, choose how you want to trigger this kill command. I like voice commands, so I'll put screenshot burst cancel in the when I say field. In the commands list, click on the other button, then voice attack option from the drop down menu, and then select stop another command. In the drop down menu, under stop another command, find your screenshot burst command and select it, then hit OK. Back in the add command dialog box, make sure repeating is set to once and click OK to save it. You should now have one command to trigger a burst of 10 screenshots and another to kill that burst command just in case. And that's it. 
I've also added commands for Screenshot Burst 20 and Screenshot Burst 5 so that I would have shorter and longer bursts depending on my needs. You could add any additional commands like that to the Screenshot Burst Cancel command so that one cancel command will kill all burst commands. Depending on what resolution you're playing in, what sort of GPU and CPU you have, and how fast your hard drive write speeds are, saving all the burst screenshots can actually take a fair amount of time. When using burst mode in 4K, I've waited 5 or more minutes for all the screenshots to show up in my screenshot directory. I've noticed that if I exit Star Citizen, or it crashes before Afterburner has had a chance to save all the burst screenshot files to my drive, I lose any shots that hadn't been saved. Because of this, when I trigger a burst, especially the 20 shot burst, I'll step away from my computer for at least 5 minutes before doing anything else in the game. But then my computer is far from new or top of the line, so your results may vary. I will say that if you have trouble with voice attack while running Star Citizen or any other game, try running voice attack as an administrator. MSI Afterburner provides a game overlay with a screenshot notification, so when I trigger a burst of screenshots, I can see that the burst is actually working and when it completes. I can also watch the saved screenshot files popping up in my screenshot folder. Once the burst is done, you can look through the plethora of screenshots and pick out that one perfectly time capture. Or, if you're like me, you repeat this process again and again and again. And that about covers my continuous shooting or burst mode technique. Hopefully you found this useful and can put it to some good use. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or problems with this technique. Also post in the comments if you have a question not covered in this video or a request for something you'd like me to explain in a future video regarding in-game screenshots. If you're interested in learning more about any of the programs I mentioned in this video, check the description below for links and information. And don't forget, please like, subscribe, and share my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. It really does help. Thanks for watching.